Uh, gonna try this again. Increase the thing. Start this up. Oh! I'm gonna turn off those engines, actually. Well, it's supposed to be able to lift off on its own. There we go. So as long as we're moving forward, these flaps won't screw us over. But as soon as we start moving backwards, these flaps will become inverted. That's the problem. No, there we go. Okay, now let's try turning off these rotors, right? Rotors are going off. Let's see if it can maintain horizontal flight. You remember this from the Pippi Longstocking movie? Oh, look, we actually have some fairly decent pitch authority in this now. I think these uh, parts just aren't providing the kind of, you know, flap control surfaces that I really need. So now it can fly like this in super high efficiency mode. Oh, there. Yeah, look, we get not amazing pitch authority, but we've got enough that we can avoid us falling into the ocean. The Fairy Rotodyne, a British concept for a rapid transport vehicle that could land in the middle of the city and then fly everywhere. Now these rotors, these were not powered by an engine, they were powered by rocket thrusters in the tips. And they were pretty, you know, potent at that as well. Okay, let's uh, try turning... Whoa. The roll authority is a little harder than I'd like. Let's... Uh... Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, roll is a little easier now. The Hiller Hornet had a ramjet in its tips with fuel delivered by centrifugal force. You know, Hiller uh, are actually you know, Bay Area based. They they have a museum at uh, in San Carlos, where they also include their concept of being able to capture the Saturn's five first stages using um, using what do we call it? Using a a helicopter, a giant rocket powered helicopter. Okay, let's fire up these main rotors and see if I can fly it to a standstill. Okay, there we go now. Just try to bleed off the speed here. Arrgh. There we go. That's a little more manageable. Now the question is, will I fall down or will I have enough control to actually land it here? And I gotta be careful I don't start going backwards. Because going backwards uh, basically means I lose control and not the perfect place to land it here. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow, that was going so well! I'm presuming the DCS is the digital combat sim game rather than, you know, digital computer sleep. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Valentina. You go and join them. This is like a puzzle from Half-Life, you know, episode 1 or episode 2. Half-Life 2, episode 2, right? Where it was all like, we need to do cool stuff with the physics. Okay, well, yeah, we'll cancel it like 50 meters per sec. Uh, I don't know. We'll see where this goes. 47 meters per second. Okay, that's great. So, so all this is there and we need to assign, oh, I just realized I now need to assign all of these to an action group. 
I should probably just keep the landing gear down, to be honest. Who am I kidding, right? Uh-oh, we're losing altitude too quickly here. Almost. Hey, look! Successfully landed on the vehicle assembly building roof! Look! I even have engines still running! Here we go, here we go. Uh oh, too short. Oh! <laughs> well! That was not what I expected to have happen. Okay, okay, look. Look, we, we're kind of successfully there. Now we just need to figure out how to, you know, take off again. Wait, I, we didn't break anything, did we? This to this is like totally the end to uh, the Italian job, right? How about we reverse the engines a bit and slide backwards? Okay, starting to rock just a little. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! Victory! Victory! <laughs> if, if that doesn't deserve a victory roll, I don't know what does! Yes! Woohoo! Successful landing! Okay. <laughs> Pretty good. I even reversed up so that we could, like, uh, you know, manage the takeoff. Now, I uh, just want to see. Yeah, we're set normal thrust, so now. Yeah, so now we've turned off the thrust reversers, right? And so now we just got to take off from here. And of course we can do that. Ready? Steady. Uh, wait a second, it's five, isn't it? And we escape to victory! It's not as cool as my earlier takeoff though. I'm gonna say that earlier takeoff was something special. Mm -hmm.